good morning. Today is one day, not two days, one day till the start of MapCon. It's Thursday, September 7th. And I wanted to record this vlog so that everybody could just see all the process that goes in, the, the, the blood, the sweat, the tears, and you know, sad because my family just left. I, I should be seeing them on Saturday for lunch when they come at MapCon, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not, not certain that's going to take, take place. We'll see what, what transpires. I gotta get this house cleaned up. It's mostly cleaned up but I gotta get the rest of it cleaned up, like the floors and stuff. I gotta get all the stuff packed up. I gotta run some errands, all before Anthony Hayes of Podcast Discovery Center gets here to the house later today. Time to get all the name badges ready. Got the printer down here on the floor from upstairs. Speaking in a math con. Looking forward to it? Yeah. Is it your first time speaking? It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it actually is. It is your first time speaking, so I'm well, looking forward to it. I mean, you introduced me last year, and you'll be introducing me this year. Yeah. No, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Kind of gonna have to wing it through some of the things because I put some stuff together last minute, but uh, that's what I'm good at. So. All right, I gotta go because we're driving. Yes, yes, your daughter Violet. That's right. <laughs> yes, you are. I know you're not a baby. So ends Thursday. Thir today's Thursday? Thursday the 7th. It was an all-day event trying to get this place straightened up. Look, the uh, I'm ready to go to sleep. Ready for <laughs> ready for tomorrow? Definitely. I'm ready for tomorrow. Super excited to get things started today. Uh, first, we gotta pack the cars. You ready, Anthony? Let's do this. Let's build this room out. Life. Set up. See it behind me. We got our message board back here to help spread the message. Thank you so much, Anthony. Anytime. For, for we're coming early. I came for the crab cakes. Sausage. What? Wait, we have crab cakes? Uh, Who's recording that? I don't know. Uh, oh, there's crab cakes. No, not this year. Mozzarella sticks? Uh, yeah, uh, close. You're, <laughs> you're in the ballpark of Italian at that point. Okay. So one of the things that we do a little bit different here is we utilize this nice fair trade made in Guatemala, uh, what's it called? Pocket disc. Doesn't hurt anybody. It's like a hat that I can drop. <laughs> We throw it around uh, the conference room. Who would be in a hotel talking about Facebook Live? How, How are, are you? Good. This is Joe. Hi. Hi. Anthony, how are you doing, man? Good to see you, man. What was your name? Good. You? Raphael. Yeah, so you're, you're still on your video blogging. I am, only once a week, though. Because oh. I'm working on the two books and like a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> You've got too much so. going on. I do, I do. So, so this is Joe that would know. This is Joe that does not need to know you've not got a ticket. That's right. <laughs> I'll call you back in like an hour. God bless, enjoy it. I see you, Joe. Thank you. you too. Being a podcaster, it's not just about doing a show. I said this on Scott's show recently, is you've got responsibility to level people up, and you have a responsibility to tell stories that 
change people's lives. Duper Joe Pardo, where's your cape? Is that, uh, it's I left it at home. I didn't uh, want to trip on it. You, oh yeah, it's dangerous. Like, because it's I, if I'm not flying, it it, it it drags behind you, and then it's, it becomes a tripping hazard. It's super dangerous. You're recording me, aren't you? It's not 7 30. Partying all night. Awesome. We, we had the Pardo slumber party. I did I know. How did you guys make out last night? Sleeping in make some out. Roots, so. oh, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. We're up all night talking about cute boys and braiding each other's hair and we, we had, had a pillow fight. fight. What? <laughs> Why was I not invited? <laughs> we had a quiet pillow, a silent pillow fight. Exactly. Mm. So, uh, I was out. I I hit the pillow. And then tequila shots to finish it off. Yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> That's what you do at a slumber party, right? I, I don't know. I wouldn't know. You get, you get ready, you're excited today, John? Uh, I am excited. Yeah. I am excited. Um, What's got you most excited? Getting, getting this, through it and not uh, getting in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, um, a great timing. Um, everything come together. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I, the thing is, I don't like. I think, the, the, I think it's the excitedness part was days ago. Yeah, of course. This is like I, I don't want to forget anything. Yeah. Like I'm, I'd watch that because that's starting to smoke. This I know this side. I almost set the house on fire. Like when <laughs> Melissa went away for a week, uh, so I was like, oh man, it's smoking a lot. I was like, I don't usually like it that hot, but I don't toast things very often. I don't cook or do anything. I don't cook. No, I don't. <laughs> so, smoking like a true husband. So I almost set the house on fire like the first day she left. That would have been bad. And she's finding out about this now. What, house on fire? It would have been because you know what? It was underneath the um, it was underneath the cabinet at the time. Doing that. Um, master evil schemes, podcasting evil, schemes. evil schemes, <laughs> podcasting. Oh, that's you make us sound so negative. I mean, um, like we're all schemers, <laughs> and that's a bad word. For, I know because I watched right, Thomas the Tank Engine. Out. Oh, hey Joe, I'm uh, <laughs> thinking what, how much value I can add to the world of podcasting, which is why I try to represent and support all my podcasting peeps across the world. I I agree. What did you What did you think of last night? It was fun. It's always fun, fun to hang out with people who uh, get what you're doing, and you don't have to explain what a podcast is. Uh, I know, right? Well, we we wanted to watch a whole documentary on that. Yeah, <laughs> and that's helpful. I watched the documentary with my parents uh, last week. I saw that you you had uh, the picture with your your parents holding. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did they Did they get it? They get it. They got a little bit more than they got it before. So good. And that, good my little good. cameo sure helped. Uh, <laughs> so I know, good. right? They're like, oh my god. <laughs> Did they make you pause on it? No, no, no. Like, oh, that's you. Yeah, oh, that's that. you. Look, there you go. Oh, that was good. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to today. It's gonna be fun. Key word of the day: tired. Yeah, good start. How, how nice about? Day. Thank you. You enjoyed yeah, it? Absolutely. I I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I totally enjoyed it. Good, good, good. I'm glad. And to I was that. I was excited that the thing with Neil came off. That that was really cool. That worked. Yeah. But now I have an excuse to wear the shirt because yeah. I, I am officially the podcaster. You are a podcaster. That exactly. that is true. Yeah. You you are somewhat very much a podcaster. Yeah, Happy birthday! Is it your birthday? Come, no, two weeks. Two weeks. I'll be turning four zero. Oh, new decade. So. Look at this guy. Four yeah. forty. I appreciate that. A lot of people think that. They're like, dude. He's like, you're turning forty. I'm like, forty is only a number, bro. I was like, it's it's just an age. It's how we choose our lifestyle. When's so. when's your birthday? Twenty first. Okay. Where are you Mo at? Monday. Oh, well then you're even closer. See there? It's, it's a birthday month. Happy Vir birthday. Virgos. I'm on Friday. Yeah. What? Huh? Friday. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude. Be Thirty one. All right, man. That's a big September month. Yeah, it is. Virgos in the house. Oh yeah. yeah I love that. <laughs> so the first year we had a pinata. <laughs> oh yeah, for me. For That's her. Right. Yeah. Hey, can I get everybody's attention? Over there? I was impressed how, tables. I was going to say, if we get more people than we had last night, like you filled the room last night, I wasn't expecting that many attendees. And I was like, wow, for a Friday night. Yeah, for what was supposed to be a mixer. Yeah. It was just supposed to be a bunch of people hanging out at the bar. Okay, what do you got, what do you got to tell me? You know, you've got two winners of last year's podcast competition. Competition. Yes. Yeah. So we want to make sure that when you announce it today, yes. that 
We're going for another microphone. You're going for another microphone? We're not going to be on the same team. No? Nah, we probably shouldn't be. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't John's know. here. Could John's here? Day. Yeah. Well, I think we should be John on the same team. John is here. Erica We're, may Eric, be yeah. here. She may still be coming? Maybe. Great day it. yesterday. Thank you. It yeah, it was like on the, you know, basically on the fly it was created, so, you know. Great people here again. Yeah, and there should be more people here today, so. So last year, were there that many people the night before? I didn't come the night before. Yeah, no. no. Yeah. There should be. Hey, how we doing? Nice to meet you. You know, it's, it's tough uh, getting to work out and do, like, life and kid and. It's gonna be kids with an S. Yeah, kids, kids. Yes. soon to be kids. Big kids with the S. Do you guys write uh, up on the message board at all? Not yet, but Not I yet. will. But I will. Oh, you should. Yes, totally. absolutely. Joe, I'm gonna write. Joe Pardo was here. I was. I was at one point. Many, many times. I was. I. Hey. How we doing? Good. We're, we're recording. Oh, okay. Yes. Awesome. How are you doing? A little tired. A little tired. I'm good bad, to see you. Good to see you. Last night was great. Thank you. I think that was a very good idea to do it the way you did it. And as somebody said in one of their presentations, do things that you think are going to be screwing things up and see where it goes. Sometimes yes. it'll screw up, but sometimes it'll work out. I subscribed to my first podcast. This podcast is called Dreamers Podcast. Ever since then, right, there you go. Ever since then, I followed the host's uh, amazing projects over the years, read his books, followed his blogs, and watched his vlogs, or vlogs rather. And today I'm able to stand in front of you and call this guy a really good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, the original mic dropper. Give it up for Super Joe Pardo, guys. Thanks. Oh, how we doing? How we feeling? Oh, we're feeling good. We always love being here at MapCon. Yeah. Uh, good. Honestly, more than anything else, I love meeting people at MapCon. There's always really cool people that show up, and I would you learn fast. about a lot of people. You can help a lot of people. Um, sorry, I get camera shy. Okay. Oh, now, now, <laughs> you pulled out the, the thing. Uh, no, but like, and, and like, you get to see a lot of people who you seen before MapCon, which is great, but every year there's new faces and new stories. Um, I just finished talking to Juanita, we had a great talk last night about how to possibly help her expand her podcast, and um, I just love it, I really do. I, I love, love having those chats. I love that you're a part of it, man. Yeah, I'm glad uh, to be here. This guy. Podcast contest, watch out. Yeah, right? Yeah, and Pod to Pod. And Pod to Pod. Don't forget Pod to Pod. All right, I'm, I gotta go. The camera's hungry, it should go eat too. No, yeah, the camera is hungry. Let's go get some, are you, are you hungry, camera? <laughs> okay, let's go get something to eat then. Grown up food? Grown up food, yes. Awesome. Yes. Hi. Hey. Yeah, Come here. Aww. Come here. Hi. Say hi, Eva. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, Eva. Yeah. You have one. It says VIP. Aww. It says VIP. Have you informed everyone? I did inform everyone, Joe. No, I, I know. I, I, you, you give me my voice of like awesomeness because you know, I hate demanding things. Wait, you're not. You're yeah. just notifying them. Hey, by the way. By the, hey, by the way. This guy. Are we, are we vlogging? What are we doing? Yeah, we're vlogging. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, this guy. Time conscious, not always. Uh, I'm not on own schedule, but I'm always on time. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Well, my time. It's 1.34 now. It's we'll 30, see. 1.34. See what happens 140. at 1.45. 1.45. Find out. We'll find out at 1.45. Did he actually start on time? I don't know. Tune in. Tune in to find out. Super Joe Pardo. He is awesome. So he's MapCon 2017. Awesome. I'm uh, so proud of you. Fishner's Ninja, if you want Whoa, to. Whoa, I can rob a bank now. You're welcome. Sure. Awesome, and they're gonna know where to go yeah. to find out who I are easy to find. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Oh, 
all these awesome people here talking about their goals and their dreams and Jeanette's over here. Uh, you know, I, I'm really proud of you, Jeanette, for not, not only to do that, I mean, I'm thankful for that, uh, but for, for making strides towards your own business and building a business rather than, you know, a hobby that you hate. Oh, thank you, Joe. Uh, and, I, and I am so incredibly proud of you from when I first met you to just literally just... I know, I was just a guy who got reservations yeah. at like... Yeah, that's was right. What was the place? Mama Mama Melrose. Mama Melrose. Mama Melrose. Mama Melrose. Yeah. Hey, we're all going to lunch at Joe Pardo. Okay, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, you're all coming along. Today. So. So. Yeah. Uh, it's streaming. Good here. I'm also a uh, server. A conserver? Oh, this is a train Serving the pile. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Awfully nice of you. Trying to be helpful. To the cops. Okay. I think you're supposed to ask this guy what a podcast is. Yeah. I, think he, no, no, no. I used to have a magnet on the back that says schoolofpodcasting.com and it did not make it through a winter. And I did have a woman once in a McDonald's drive thru which is weird when you're sitting in the drive thru like somebody comes up and taps on your window. Yeah, right. And makes you kind of wet your pants. Whoa, it happens whoa, in November. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. So we have a radio guy yeah. that got laid off in yeah. November. I'm very mm -hmm. sorry to hear that. Yeah. Almost a year later, though. Well, six months. It'll be six months when I get things going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Six months from now or six months? No, November first. Yeah, I got laid off in May. So. Six oh, May. Maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, no I heard yeah. I got laid off in November, not yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In May. So I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. But it's probably the best thing that will ever happen. Yeah. To you. Well, my wife has been bugging me forever to do this anyway because there's an online revolution going on right yes, now. Yes, there is. There, you know, I mean, I mean is, it, is it is it have any more evidence than what's going on? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right around us, there's there's people everywhere but, that and get it. The great thing about this conference is that it's the, the people are so welcoming. There's I've been to a lot of radio conventions, a lot of radio conferences where there's a lot of egos, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of egos here. No. You know, everybody's pretty much you know here to help, here to encourage, here to support, and that's really refreshing. It's a great time. This is good. It's a good conference. I've learned a lot already. Great. Hey, I'm Joe Pardo. Thank you so much for uh, voting for me. I uh, Three years ago, I never thought that this would be possible, uh, that I would even be uh, nominated for an award, let alone win one, uh, just like my, my guy, Dave Jackson. To go on this journey for three years, three and a half years, and, and bring all of these amazing, dreaming uh, business entrepreneur, awesome people together has been just an amazing ride. Um, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to do it. And to go along with that, I'm so grateful for the people that have supported me, not through just Dreamers Podcast, but Middle Atlantic Podcast Conference. Um, and it's just so awesome that so many people would uh, be here to support what I want. Uh, <laughs> Can you help me out? I can't wait. All right. Yeah, go around and get some testimonials. Great talking. I'm Sophia Wiseone, and I have been a healer, transformation coach, a mentor 
for years, my whole life, and I have been looking and watching the, the podcast world and brewing my ideas. So I came here because I'm preparing to share my message through another platform. I love to talk, I love to teach. I made radio shows on cassettes when I was a child, and uh, it's always been a dream to do radio and to do podcasting. I came this weekend and it was phenomenal. One of the most beautiful parts about it is that it really has that uh, authentic, earnest investment in each other. Like I came here as a total outsider and people who are established and professionals and got their thing, every single person talked to me like a peer, encouraged me, opening doors, wanting to know about what I'm doing, honestly sharing about their experiences. I think the honesty, the earnest, the kindness were the most, uh, I feel nourished. At the end of this weekend, I feel nourished and fed by peers and by mentors and I just am psyched and I'm so grateful and I, if you're thinking about coming, definitely come and if you're thinking about watching and, and taking the information, there's so much wisdom packed and just a little bit of time. Every single talk had incredible amounts of useful practical information and just great, great time, great time. Hey guys, uh, so we're just closing out at MapCon 2017 and I'm just gonna give you my little video testimonial for Super Joe Pardo. Uh, this is my second year, literally one year ago this week I launched my podcast. So coming back, being able to speak on a Friday night at this event was just so inspiring to me. I was so honored to be able to actually have just a quick, quick eight minute power speak. That was something new this year, eight minute sessions on Friday night. And then today, just the huge amount of knowledge bombs that were dropped are just ridiculous. So as a new podcaster who's only one year old, I've, I'm still learning. So coming to events like this, this is why you have to come to events because you're gonna gather up so much freaking knowledge, your brain's gonna hurt. You're gonna be starving by the end of the event like I am right now. And you're gonna be looking forward already the next year because here's a little tip I bought my ticket at the end of the event last year to save money and I'm doing it right now when I get done videoing this so that's my video testimonial shout out to you Super Joe Pardo MapCon 2017 podcasters well, my name is Annette Bone and I am the founder and the host of the Dance Printering Studio podcast where dance inspires life and business and MapCon last year was my first podcasting conference I had already gone to many business conferences but coming to a podcast a podcast specific conference it was a way different ballgame and I learned so much in such a short amount of time met some amazing podcasters and I'm back this year again I spoke last year I spoke again this year and it's another great experience I have to give props to the Super Joe Pardo for putting on such an amazing event and bringing amazing such an it is amazing podcasters together for this event so I hope you consider coming whether you haven't started your podcast you are a seasoned podcaster wherever you are in your journey you'll get something from this event so I hope you come my name is Janae I'm from Views from a Cubicle, the host of Views from a Cubicle. Um, Sands, the super producers, my friends aren't here with me, but I came to learn as much as I can about the world of podcasting. I got so much out of this. I It's invaluable. Like, you come, come. Next year, 2018, September 7th to the 8th, or was it the 8th to the 9th? It doesn't matter. Look it up. Mapcon.com, excuse me, maybe not. Midatlanticpodcast.com. Midatlanticpodcast.com. Go ahead and just, you, you need to buy your ticket now. There are so many experts, so much conversation. Newbies as well. I felt right at home. Everyone is so encouraging and so supportive. And I, there's, there's no value, like there, there's no dollar number that should be a problem for anybody to pay. You need to be here. You need, if you want to be a podcaster, you need to be here. I'm Zach Demopoulos. Raising Rents is my podcast. This is my second time at MapCon. And I'm Leontine Anglin, and this is actually my first time at MapCon. And if you can't tell, we've met and we connected. And we right like here. each other. It's just a natural thing. <laughs> and so, one of the things that I like best about the conference, even though it was my first time, just being around the um, other podcasters, just being kind of within a community, because most of the time you're out here flying solo. Um, but just trying to see what other people are doing, you kind of got an opportunity to hear about some of the trends that are going on. But it's the relationships. 
um, and trying to figure out what other people are trying to do and figure out, well, maybe I can do something to help. So I'm just so looking forward. I'm excited about learning about it. Joe, thank you for putting this on. I know it's a lot of work, um, but I can tell you personally, I made a lot of really strong connections today. How about you? I wholeheartedly agree with her. I, yeah. I, you know, you hear it all the time when you go to conferences. You go for the subject matter, of course, but the bigger part is the networking and getting getting the mentors, informal mentors. When I was here last year at MapCon, it was my first event ever. I haven't launched a show yet. I didn't know anybody. <laughs> I, I just I just came to this because it's two hours down south for me, and I got to meet so many great people. They encouraged me to stop, you know. Stop being paralyzed and go after it. I'm eight episodes in, and I actually have a different feel this time. Yeah. But I still have that great benefit of getting to meet another, another you know, new people. Exactly. I can't thank you enough, Joe, because for creating the community that we have here. Uh, it, it's incredible. It really is. It's so neat to be able to walk into a room and you already have something in common with somebody. And then you just start to, we've already started yeah, talking already about some things we're yeah. going to do together. Yeah, some absolutely. great ideas that we have that even goes beyond podcasting. How cool is that? We would never have met. Exactly ever. Right. She'd walk away if she saw me coming down the street. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but thank you for doing this. this thank you, Joe. Awesome. Looking forward to the next one and seeing what we can do maybe to help. Um, spread the words. It's fantastic. See you next year. Awesome. Well, hello, this is Brian Minninger um, from StudioTrailers.net, and I had the opportunity to be here at MapCon 2017. And I'm not a podcaster. I'm a former podcaster, but um, just wanted to hang out with podcasters and learn about what their needs are. And it was really cool to just be so welcomed by the community, even though I'm I don't have a, currently have a podcast. The, everyone here just welcomed us with open arms and made some fantastic connections and networking here and the relationships of this community. It's obvious it's a very close-knit community that really encourages and supports one another and every single one of the speakers was fantastic. I learned a lot um, for my business even when I'm not a podcaster so I learned a lot all the way through it. Joe did a fantastic job managing it so we'll, we'll definitely be back. We're looking forward to uh, next year. I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting and I've attended every MapCon uh, going back to the early days and it's always been fun. It's a great time to uh, build your community and network with people, but unlike any other conference, there's always an edge of creativity that you just do not see at other events. And I've seen people that have come in very introverted and we pull them out of their shells and they're ready to go back to wherever they came from and actually start a podcast. So if you're looking to boost your creativity, boost your networking, and boost your network in general, uh, you gotta come check out MapCon. So I'm here at my very first MapCon. I've uh, never been to one before, and I didn't know what to expect. You know, I just came back from a, a bigger podcasting conference with a lot of people, 2,000 people, and, but I understand the importance of a more intimate setting, and this is a single track conference, and I think there's a lot of value, especially for new podcasters, to be focused in your approach and what you're learning, so you're not scattered, jumping from room to room. Joe's done an incredible job. I can't believe he's actually doing a lot of this himself. Rumor has it he's actually manning this camera as we speak. I don't know how that's possible. It might be true. <laughs> because of everything that he's done over the weekend. He's uh, just a warm-hearted uh, person who is giving everything that he has into this conference and it shows. And so if you are a beginning podcaster and you're looking to surround yourself with a community of like-minded podcasters, who will have your back and support you all the way through, then I think one of the best investments you can make is to come to MapCon. So please do that. You will not regret it. Uh, there's a reason that the, the, the podcast keeps growing and growing because uh, apparently he's doing something right. And the connections that we're making here are friends that we'll have for life. And as you'll come to see, the podcasting community is very open and welcoming with open arms. So come to MapCon, uh, don't overthink it, and you won't regret it. Hey guys, this is Mark Asquith from Excellence Expected and Podcast Websites, and I'm here at MapCon, which has just wrapped for 2017. Now, I don't make the trip over from England very often, but what I do, I like to pick the conferences and the events that I go to. And knowing Joe like I do, knowing how he loves podcasting, how he loves podcasters, MapCon is an opportunity that I take every year to come and connect with people that we all love podcasters from across the world. So 
if you get chance, we'll see you next year in 2018. You cannot miss it. Hey, I'm Laura Reagan from Therapy Chat, and I just had an awesome time at the Mid-Atlantic Podcast Conference. And what I loved the most was the activities to get our creative juices flowing because you know podcasting is a creative thing and you know you don't want to be all in your head being able to like do improv stuff I would have no other opportunities to do that in my life and it was really challenging and cool all the people here were so open and friendly and I loved it I'm definitely coming back thank you Joe Pardo hi I'm the fish ninja I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, Clay Groves, Chief Executive Fish Nerd of the Fish Nerds Podcast. I'm here at Podcast Mid-Atlantic with Super Joe Pardo. He's right behind the camera. Hi, Joe. Uh, and this is my first ever podcast conference. I've been invited to a lot of them. Uh, I've been invited. To, Joe, you invited this me here. This is really your first one? Yeah. This is, wow. You've invited me here three times. And this is my first time coming to one. Uh, and I got the I got to speak at your show. At your That's not true. You were in podcast Boston. I went, but that wasn't a conference. That was or a New meetup England. or something. Yeah, like it that. was a it was an advanced meetup. It was a, it was a meetup, but you know. But this is actually the first real conference, and I got to tell you, the stuff I learned in the first hour, the night before, like the the little bit of eight minute thing you were doing, the stuff I learned there in that first hour could save me probably six months of work making a podcast on my own, which I did. I didn't have any help making my podcast. And then today, the amount of stuff I learned in one day, that's a year of, of self-exploration like research I would do on my own that I learned in one day. So uh, I'm super happy to be here. I've met some great podcasters. I've met some new podcasters who seem to be inspired to start new things. I met Joe Pardo for the second time in real life, although I've known you for three years now. Yes, um, you have. And I, and I had a really good time, and I hope that I delivered uh, a presentation that people liked as well and that um, people will grow from. I got to work with Amanda Dowdy from uh, Great Beer Adventure. Daughtry. Daughtry. And I, the Chris Daughtry. And I got Dave Jackson to be on my podcast. Whoa. So, yeah. Did he fish? No. I mean. <laughs> no, but, you know, he's a nerd just like the rest of us. Living in Ohio, I'm not surprised. Yeah, there's, there's no bigger group of nerds anywhere on earth than in a podcast conference. Like, I don't even care. You can be a Dungeons and Dragons conference, but they're nerdier here. This is the nerd, it's like nerd central. So happy to be here, glad to be part of uh, Mid-Atlantic Podcast Conference. I'm super happy, you know, Super Joe Pardo, uh, consider you a friend, and I'm happy. So thank you so much. Uh, and I'm Clay from fishnerds.com, the, the best fishing podcast on iTunes, not the only one. So I hope the best anyway, so that's it. Good morning, so today is Sunday, it's day four of MapCon weekend. I got six people that are going to be here for a podcasting course to learn more about how to take their podcast to the next level. I'm excited uh, and, and I'm hopeful for all of them that they're going to learn something. And I think for my goal is to learn something from all of them. So they solidified the fact that we work better in numbers and being able to be with a group of like-minded people just reaffirmed uh, the fact that we can't do things on our own. Sometimes we need help and going forward it allowed me to have clarification on a lot of the goals that I want to accomplish and how to succeed with them. Hey, I'm, I'm proud to be here. Uh, my mantra is to improve and progress, and today that's exactly what I did. Uh, Joe and the team really helped me, really look at, actually really helped me define who my audience is for my podcast. Uh, not only that, uh, the, the the session today gave me an opportunity to think about other our gave me an opportunity to think about products and services that I can add to the podcast that I'm, I'm looking to do. Uh, so I'm super excited. Uh, all I have to do now is work on my the name up for the podcast. But I'm, I'm quite sure before I leave out of uh, New Jersey, I'll have a name for the podcast and I'll be ready to podcast and join you all in the podcast world. So thank you, Joe, for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, as I indicated before, uh, I've been in radio for 20 years, uh, but I don't know everything. And I came here to learn 
how to be the best podcaster that I can be. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Hey, how are you doing today? My name is Raph, Raphael. I'm founder of Served and Served Radio, and uh, we're bringing together all those that have served uh, through a brand, uh, physical goods, and through voice, the art of storytelling. And life, and this is a journey, it's not really a checklist. And I was approaching it from a checklist standpoint. And what uh, happened here uh, this weekend uh, for me and my journey uh, is put me uh, well beyond uh, what I thought it was going to happen. And uh, that's, I'm talking in reference to MapCon, uh, MapCon 2017 and uh, Joe uh, and what he's put together. So I wanted to uh, give a, a very heartfelt uh, thank you uh, for doing that, to Joe, for uh, assembling the right people, the right atmosphere, the right size. Um, and uh, anyways, I just uh, feel like Served Radio is going to be that much better. Uh, working here, you know, put me in a position that I didn't expect, right? It, uh, so, so Joe started off with these questions on how do you feel and all this and all that, you know, I don't want to say touchy-feely, but it was just, it, it, it forced me to go deep. Uh, and uh, it, it's what I needed. I, I needed to, to really figure out and then hit that core, tap into that, and then uh, things just kind of started sorting out. So uh, uh, I had been working on that in the past, but I really feel that coming here accelerated that uh, in the right way. I'm Stefan Roots, the Dirty Water Dude. This is my second opportunity to attend MapCon, the Mid-Atlantic Podcast Conference. Spent some uh, quality time with Joe Pardo in the extra credit session which was very intimate, was very instructive, always exhausting, but I can leave here with a lot of information. Uh, you're doing an incredible job, Joe, I tell you, man. We need guys like you who are willing to share with guys like us and have us around the top guys in the industry so we can fulfill our dreams and goals of becoming podcasters and getting our voice out to people who need to hear it. So look for the Dirty Water Dude out on your podcast app, iTunes or whatever you use. Uh, we're about to launch a new season and we've got some exciting things coming for you. For you. We've got exciting things coming for you. Stefan Roots. Thanks a lot, Joe. Four days and it's a wrap. So, so thankful for everything that has happened over the last four days three to five hours of sleep each night for different reasons. It's Sunday night, eight o'clock. I, I, the car is finally unpacked. Things aren't put away. Tons of emails need to be responded to. A couple emails need to be created and I'm going to bed. <laughs>